Hi, this video is going to provide you with an outline of batch processing from the Size Dream Studio software 5.2.9. So you can see here I have a scan of extracted measurements, but this isn't the part of the interface we're going to use to batch process. Where we're going to go is here, batch processing. So for most of us, what we really want is we want measurements to a spreadsheet so we can extract them from a population. And I'm just going to take the core. I don't have any custom measurements at the moment linked to this. If we go to it here, you can see this is the core list here, the measurement display list. This will be custom measurements had I any link to this, but I currently don't. And this is my default waste measurement as well. So if I go back to batch processing here, I can turn off custom. But for batch processing, when you're looking to get measurements out of the system, this is what you're going to be using. You can batch process to other things. So you can save raw data as binary. You can batch process a number of different things. But specifically here, we're looking at getting measurements out, just the core measurements from it. This is where it's going to save to. You can click here and select a different save location. OK, and then again, you can see calculate core composite measurements from custom. So it can run if you've had a number of scans going. OK, first thing we're going to do is add raw data. So we're going to go to where our data is held here. And I'm just going to pick these three anonymous scans here and open them. OK, so these are the data I'm going to process. I can decide if I want to stop the batch after each file. But as it stands, I'm just going to take the core measurements according to this and output them to a spreadsheet in this file here. So I can start the batch. And when it's finished, it'll end with the last one. They're here, so I can clear them, or I can choose to reuse them if I wanted to run them again. So the next stage we need to go to here is to get to extracted data. OK, so we can pull up the extracted data here, and this is where it's gone to. So it'll just be a spreadsheet. And if we double click on it, you can see what it looks like. These are the different measurements for the different scans. And here are all the terms for them. But if we right click on it and open with, we should be able to open with Excel. Oh, we can't because it hasn't remembered it. So we could go here and pick Excel. And then we could ask it to open. So a blank workbook and then file and open. And we need to go to the location where it is. So on this PC here, on the C. I stream and you want to follow it through to whatever the location is. You can see it's not picked it up, but if we just put all files, there it is. Click on it, open, and it should ask us in a minute what do we want. So the limit to text, that's fine. Next, next, and finish. And that'll be okay. And then we have our measurements here. So you can see this is the scans, this is the data along the top. And the names, I usually find it easiest just to orientate them running up and to wrap them as well. And we can push it up a bit. And then we can bring them all in. So now you have all that data and you can do other things with it. It's a very simple process for getting your data out of from the SizeStream Studio and into an Excel file. So that's a very brief guide for batch processing using SizeStream Studio 5.2.9.